USS Ronald Reagan, CVN-76, Nuclear-Powered Aircraft Carrier USS Ronald Reagan CVN-76 is the ninth ship of the 10-strong Nimitz-class group of nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in service with the United States Navy today. While in use as early as World War I, 1914-1918, the aircraft carrier rose to prominence during the Pacific Naval Battles of World War II, 1939-1945, where her powerful air wings shifted the balance in the region from Japanese to American dominance. The arrival of the carrier in this war also signaled the end of the battleship as the primary capital ship and ushered in the anew king of the seas. Today, the United States enjoys the largest, most powerful naval fighting force on the planet as well as the largest fleet of active aircraft carriers. The vessels provide an anytime, anywhere approach to growing unrest in the world while also serving as a power projection tool when necessary. The American aircraft carrier has evolved by leaps and bounds since the conventionally powered flat-top systems of old, now able to reside on station longer and field more aircraft on shorter notice. The vessels are staffed by well-trained professionals that ensure the operation of all sections of the ship are fluid and mistake-free. In May of 1975, the first of the ten planned nuclear-powered Nimitz-class aircraft carriers was commissioned to form the new backbone of the United States Navy. The USS Ronald Reagan, CVN-76, then joined the group as the ninth vessel when was ordered on December 8, 1994. She saw her keel laid down on February 12, 1998 by Northrop Grumman Newport News and was launched on March 4, 2001 with formal commissioning on July 12, 2003. Due to the ailing health of former President Ronald Reagan, 1911-2004, his wife Nancy became the ship's sponsoring agent. USS Ronald Reagan maintains an active presence among the USN fleet, making her homeport at NAS North Island Coronado in California. She fights under the motto of peace through strength and is affectionately known under the nickname of Jipper after President Reagan himself. Ronald Reagan, the former actor, had earned the nickname from his film, New Trockney, where he played George, the Jipper Jip. USS Ronald Reagan follows the same design lines and ocean-going capabilities established in the Nimitz class during the 1970s. She has a nearly all-flat flight deck with a starboard side island superstructure which is set slightly aft of amidships. The primary landing area for fixed-wing aircraft is the angled section of runway running from starboard stern to port side bow. Four hangar elevators provide the necessary access from below with three elevators featured along the starboard side and one along port. There are a total of four steam catapults arranged about her design, which allows for the near-simultaneous launching of four aircraft, the two catapults at port side nearly intersect, which delay launching of one aircraft over another. Two catapults are featured over the forecastle and two along the port side of the vessel. The Reagan also can launch and retrieve helicopters without issue including special forces types. Dimensions of the vessel include a running length of 1,092 feet, a beam of 252 feet, and a draft of 37 feet. The whole crew complement numbers 3,200 personnel and includes all manner of levels, officers, enlisted, security, etc. The air wing comprises an additional 2,480 personnel for a grand total of 5,680 souls on board at any one time, essentially a floating small American town. As with all of the Nimitz class, Reagan is outfitted with a nuclear reactor propulsion system. This is arranged as two by up Westinghouse A4W series reactors coupled to four by up steam turbines driving 4x shafts. Total output power becomes 260,000 shaft horsepower supplying the ship with a maximum speed of over 30 knots. Since the power supply is nuclear based, her range is essentially unlimited and the lifespan of the reactors is stated around 20 to 25 years before needing replacement. The problem then becomes disposal of the radioactive waste once the reactor has reached its usefulness. 
Reagan is arranged to support up to 90 fixed-wing or rotary-wing aircraft at any one time. This provides much tactical flexibility in any one theater for the carrier can field a broad collection of aircraft to suit whatever operational role is required of her. This includes air defense fighters, strike aircraft, airborne early warning platforms, transports, search and rescue, helicopters and the like. All fuel and munitions for the aircraft are stored aboard in lower decks and supply the air arm the tools of their deadly trade. Specialized design of the hangar areas ensure that an explosion or fire can be rapidly contained in the event of an accident or direct hit from an enemy weapon, lessons no doubt learned through the hard-fought carrier battles of World War II. While being primarily defended by her accompanying fleet of surface warships and air defense fighters, the carrier still carries a small collection of ranged weapons as a final line of survival. This collection is led by RIM-7 Evolved Sea Sparrow medium-range surface-to-air missiles and backed by up to 4 by up to 20mm phalanx close-in weapon systems are installed. The RIM-116 rolling airframe missile launchers can take the place of the phalanx Gatling guns as needed. These provide a short-range surface-to-air capability as well.